Hey guys, what's up? It is your girl Crystal of the Crystal Method coming to you with an update. So, today was my first day back to work and <sighs> it Hi Poo Poo, come here. Hi. Say hi. Say I was in the emergency room on Valentine's Day. All right, you feeling better. You tooting that little booty booty in the air. All right, so <laughs> uh, going back to work. I went back to work today, and it was it was okay. Me and my new boss had a discussion, and uh, hopefully things will get better. I'm still looking for a new job, though. Um... I feel like I kind of lost everything, so I need like a refresher course. But I think I'll pick up on it quickly. Um, yeah. So, update regarding RJ and then update regarding my health. So, regarding RJ, he was scooting a whole, whole lot. And I was wondering like, oh my God, like what's the matter? He kept going to the bathroom and just peeing like he wasn't pooping so I'm like okay he's constipated and I was just like looking in his eyes and I'm just like okay something's wrong he's just uncomfortable and I still think he is a little uncomfortable but he's like coming to me now why are you looking at me like that I'm talking about you he's like coming to me now and like interacting with me so I had to take him to the emergency room it turns out his anal glands on his left side were very full. So they released that and they said he has some stool in his colon. But they weren't too concerned about it. So they they gave him medicine. They dewormed him. Um, he didn't have worms, but I told him give him the worm thingy anyway. And yeah. So that was $544. Oh, my heart. So with that, I had to use $100 from my annual expenses. RJ's $176. My $144, I believe. And I used $144 from my emergency fund in my main account. Yes, just for you. So they said he's not dehydrated or anything. They were like, you know, is he still eating? I'm like, yeah, he eating a little too much. So my neighbor knocked on my door, asked me if I had any cat food. So I'm like, yeah. So I had the Rachel Ray cat food. Maybe about an hour later, my neighbor knocked on the door again. And he said, what kind of food is that that you gave RJ and that you gave my cat? And I'm like, oh, it's Rachel Ray. Like, this is what it looked like. He said, my cat is scooting and going to the bathroom and like peeing, but he can't, you know, number two. And he was like, you know, I'm not giving my cat that food anymore. I would suggest you to throw it away. I think that's what's wrong with RJ. And I'm just like, <sighs> what was $7 has cost me $544. So I know he likes Imes cat food and I usually don't buy it because it's like 12 to $15 but I think that's the route that I have to go from now on because he does like that food and it has never caused any issues um, you know with him eating it. So I got some Imes today and I started to feed him that and he's still eating he like plays. He lays down a lot. He's laying on cold surfaces like the kitchen floor or the bathroom floor. Even when he like when he knows he's not allowed in the kitchen. So if he's in the kitchen floor and I walk by the kitchen and he see me, he'll like hurry up and like get out of the kitchen. And I know he's just trying to get relief from his little booty. Um, and he's going to the bathroom like a lot. And I'm just like, oh. So I'm just keeping an eye on him. They said to keep an eye on him and, you know, make sure he's doing better. So I will be concerned when he when he doesn't eat. 
he still eats whatever I put out there. So, regarding me, um, I went to see my OB, GYN, and I had to get blood work done. That sucked. And not only did I have to get blood work done, but I had to pay a $121 deductible. And that was from the last blood work that I had to get done in January. For this one that I just got done, the deductible is going to be $111. And I'm just like, you've got to be. And I have to get an ultrasound done on Thursday night at 8 p.m. So, they're basically checking to see if my fibroids are back. Um, what they checked with the blood work is for pregnancy, even though I know that that's going to be negative, um, fibroids, and some other, couple other things. Um, and ultrasound is Thursday to see if the fibroids are back. So, that raises some concern just because I have fibroids removed in 2017. If you guys been on a channel for a long time, you saw when I was in the hospital. I think I went live from the hospital um, when I was in recovery. And I had complications from that surgery. I had to get two blood transfusions. It was a mess. So prayerfully, um, you know, the fibroids are not back because I do not want to get another surgery. Um, but I'll get another surgery if I have to because I do want to have children. Like I don't want to get, you know, a hysterectomy. I really don't. Um, now the only way I would do that is if they say like, hey, if you don't get these removed or if these keep growing you know it could rupture and kill you or whatever then that's the worst case scenario but you know I do want kids um someday so that's what's going on but I kind of feel like if I'm being honest now with like going through this again it seems like for me being a mom is so like not rushed but like I feel like it has to happen within like the next two three years you know or sooner and I'm single I'm saving myself you know for my husband whoever that is and I just don't want that to be a focus like I have to hurry up and do it because the last thing that I want to do is to settle for a man just to have a kid like no and my other best friend well my only best friend now that lives here she was just like you know why don't you just go get inseminated and you know like have your baby and she was like I don't want you to wait for a guy just to you know be a mom and like I hear that but at the same time, I don't want to willingly be a single mom. You know what I mean? I don't want that. And that's not to say women that are single moms, you know, can't do it or that it can't happen. Like, even if you are a single mom, you still know who your child's father is. You know what I mean? Like, most circumstances you do. You know who your child's father is and have the option for child support or you know help from his side of the family or whatever the case may be like me getting artificially inseminated I am literally on my own like I can't call and be like hey your son is my sperm donor I need help with his kid like I can't do that you know what I mean so I'm definitely praying on it, especially like with the anxiety just surrounding that in the process of, you know, wanting to be a mom. Um, I will say I'm praying for my husband <laughs> a whole lot more than I was before. Um, you know, I want the right one to show up. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on. Um, 
if I'm being honest, I'm a little bothered, but I'm trying to not harp on it for real because I'll drive myself insane, you know. And that's the last thing I want. Plus, you know, the work situation. Like, I had some anxiety today. Um, and honestly, guys, they are still just trying. I'm still not able to move departments. And they're still just putting me out there. You know, same work. Same workload and everything. And... I just sighed. I was just like, you know, but I don't know. I just feel like they don't care. But what can I do? Um, my new boss said that things are going to get better and that she sees that, you know, my work is a lot. But she also said that she challenges that because the person that was doing my job while I was out was doing my job and hers. And was able to get it completed. And I'm just like. To myself. Well what that got to do with me being able to. You know what I mean. Like trying to like. I don't, this is how I took it. Like trying to like play me. In a way. Because she's like oh well your job is the easiest job. What? It can't be. You just contradict yourself. You just said you know it's a lot. Because you saw the workload. I don't know y'all. Just. Mm. Keep me in prayer. I still haven't gotten my business license or LLC. I might be putting that on hold depending on what um, what happens with this uh, ultrasound and what my OB says and everything like that. Because I might have to use my business money for like medical bills or to pay bills in my house in case I'm out of work again if I have to get surgery. So, yeah, just keep me in prayer, y'all. I just, I just need, I just need purpose. I just need to know my purpose. I need to know my calling. Like, I just need, you know, just a, a blessing all the way around. Financial, new job, new guy, you know, healthy, 100% healthy, like, it's a lot and then my OB was like you know she was like I see your iron is like low very very low and I'm like yeah and she's like um you know we have to get that under control and I'm like yeah well I'm on two doses of iron now and she's like okay and it my iron 7.7 .7. apparently that's like dangerously low so I don't know guys just keep your girl in your prayers I am going to stay in good spirits over here I'm not going to get depressed or get upset I just pray you know everything goes good with my health I just pray everything goes good with RJ's health and I just pray that God blesses me with another job making more money or just show me my purpose for whatever this business is supposed to be i just have it on my heart to start a business i just don't know what and i know you guys gave me some pointers um but i don't i just need a sign of what to do you know so that is all it's been 14 minutes i'm gonna let you guys go i'm gonna relax and get ready for bed and i will see you guys in the next video be blessed have an amazing hump day tomorrow and i'll talk to you guys soon bye